hello and welcome back to my channel it's mommy bitch free here welcome back so today we are making quality liquid soap sit back and enjoy hello welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make a great liquid soap for selling the one you can sell okay this is my sulfonic acid sulfonic acid helps boost foam in your liquid soap this is my foam booster hence we are going to sell the soap you need a foam booster to activate the foaming properties of the soap very well this is my preservative. The preservative helps your soap's life shell, gives it a longer life shell. It's actually for malign, okay? That's your preservative. Now, for the rest of the ingredients, this is my texapone. Texapone acts as a binder for your soap. This is my neutrosol. It's the first thing you add to your water when making your liquid soap. This is my SLS. The SLS looks like rice when you when in appearance okay it's it helps break surface tension this is my perfume gives a good fragrance to your soap this is my scpp scpp helps thickens your soap and helps your soap to your soap to foam well and the last but not the least soda ash and caustic soda caustic soda is very corrosive guys please be very very safe why isn't it and the last is my color the color you want your soap to be okay i'll be making of two colors for this liquid soap now i'm going to put my sls in a bowl and add water to it so that it can start dissolving this is how i do it i'm going to add about half liter of water to the sls the one that has rice like texture i'm going to pour about half liter of water to it and set it aside by the time I need the SLS for my liquid soap, it will be completely dissolved. Okay, this is how I make use of my SLS. You don't need to start stressing yourself to keep it overnight or to keep it for some hours or thereabouts. Okay, so let's start the soap proper. So I used about 20 liters of, I poured in about 20 liters of water to this big butter. So after putting the water, I'm going to add my nitrosol. Everything I use for this soap, liquid soap production, will be in my description box. Not just in my, but I'm going to list it out step by step in order of appearance in this video. That is the actual procedure. You can read about it without being confused on what I used. Okay, I said it for about three minutes before dissolving the next ingredient. Don't add any ingredient or any chemical directly, okay? You have to dissolve it. That is the trick of making a good liquid soap. Now, I'm going to use about half liter of water for each chemical I'm going to add to the main soap. So this is the STPP. I'm going to stir it for about two to three minutes to make to be sure that it's properly dissolved. And that is just it. I'm going to pour it into the nitrosol, dissolved nitrosol, and that's just it. Stir everything for about three to five minutes before the second step. As you can see, it's already foaming. Now for the sulfonic. The sulfonic acts as is is very very important in your liquid soap. Okay, it helps bring your soap together. And it assists, it acts as a catalyst. It assists your foaming agent to foam properly. Okay? I'll add about a liter of water to the sulfonic to mix it properly. You can see, you have to stir the sulfonic until it becomes white, kind of white. You can see it now in this video, it has changed color from the black that it, it, the color usually is to this white pale color. And that is it. You know it's ready. Hope you can see the foam bubbles going everywhere now for the soda ash i'm going to dissolve the soda ash the same way i dissolve every every other thing when you dissolve the soda ash with half liter of water that is the sodium carbonate when you dissolve it with half liter of water i'm going to after mixing it i'm going to pour it into the sulfonic soda ash is very important in your liquid soap why because it helps remove stains that your soap is going to encounter while using it for laundry it helps remove stains it helps soften the water maybe when you want to wash your dishes 
when using the soap you added a good quantity of soda ash it helps losing the water from hard water to it will become soft water hope you can see the chemical reaction that just took place every the sulfonic reacted to the soda ash i poured in and it formed in a great way okay so mix everything and now for the the careful part of this soap making this is my caustic soda don't do it the way i'm doing it. make sure you wear your gloves okay i'm used to this i've been doing soap liquid soap for a very long time now so that's just it i dissolved it with about half liter of water the same way i dissolved other chemicals after stirring it for about three minutes when stirring it be careful so that it will not splash on you or on anybody around you after mixing it pour it into the sulfonic mixture of sulfonic and soda ash you can see you can see how it's forming and it's forming in a different way now the pattern of foaming reduced is no longer coming up it now segmented the foaming aspect so look at it now i just poured it into the men soap mixture you see how it's becoming thicker i wish you can actually feel how it has become thicker immediately rinse out the remaining caustic soda sulfonic and soda ash stir for about five minutes then i'm going to add my dissolved sls this is it you see it's properly dissolved the one that has rice texture the one we we, we added water to before we started this soap making so i'm going to mix everything together i'm going to add my foam booster this foam booster is very necessary if you are selling your soap if you're not selling this liquid soap is of no use okay because other ingredients has their own property they are going to activate your the foaming the the foam of the um liquid soap i just added the texapone remember i said the texapone acts as a binder in your liquid soap it allows non-polar materials like oil to dissolve when it interacts with your soap that's when you are washing your plate the texapone in the soap helps your soup dissolve oil without any problem without any issue so now i'm going to add my formalin that is the preservative everything i use in this soap will be in the description box okay i'm going to write it in order of appearance in order of the way i added it to this soap now for my perfume you can add any perfume of your choice i like using something like orange on or citrus um, perfumes for this i made use of orange the orange has a very strong aroma it helps it gives a beautiful fragrance to your soap now for the color remember i said you are making use of two colors so i'm going to dissolve them separately one is um lemon pink lemon yellow and the other one is just pink So this is how it looks both has been properly dissolved i'm going to stir the, the lemon yellow it seems it's having issue dissolving i'm going to stir it a bit and that is just it our liquid soap is ready actually that's just it i'm going to scoop out some quantity from the liquid soap that i'm going to add the lemon yellow to i just want to show you how the both color looks like and that is just it my my client wants a pink liquid soap and that is what i'm going to give her this soap was able to i was able to get up more than 25 liters of soap if you are making soap for production your soap does not need to be very very thick okay you just have to be a little bit thick not very thick I just poured in the yellow the red color the pink color into the bigger quantity of soap i'm going to stir the both of them and i'm going to show you the end result.
So I'm going to show you the end result. This is how it looks. It came out super, super good. Tell me in the comment section which of the color you prefer, okay? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed. See you in my next video. Bye.